We want to give you a better look at the two problems that are going on here, all, of course, caused by too much water in the lake. Now, first, there's the huge hole in the spillway, which is to the left here of the dam. Now, releasing the water into the spillway just made that hole bigger. So closing the spillway to inspect the damage made the lake level rise. Eventually, that sent all the water to the emergency spillway over here, causing more erosion and the evacuations. When the force of all that water gets about halfway down the spillway, it rips away at the huge hole, making it even bigger. The violent torrent ultimately ripped away the sides of the spillway. And no longer confined, water erodes the earthen barrier of the hillside and swells the sediment-darkened Feather River below. And when the lake crested the emergency spillway with no concrete channel to contain it, water took everything in its path, dirt, trees, rocks, even the paved road that ran parallel to the dam and below both spillways. Today, with the lake level dropping, work crews could get out on what's left of the road to inspect the damage and try to come up with a game plan for protecting the hillside from even further erosion should the lake level rise and come violently cascading down that emergency spillway again. Here's what they're up against. For every 750,000 gallons of water being let out of the lake, 300,000 gallons is still coming in and more rain on the way later this week. However, the break in the storms, even with the damaged spillway, is letting them lower the lake level as much as 30 feet, they hope, by Wednesday night. They hope it's going to be enough because last week's storms brought the lake up 50 feet.